The COVID-19 vaccine is becoming more accessible to groups of people in phases each and every week. And there's a tool called VSAFE for reporting your side effects after. KXAN's Jayla Washington shows us how it works and why it's critical for the CDC to track this data. It's actually an extremely easy process. You have to have a smartphone and the CDC is actually going to send you text messages just like this one where you can check in with them telling them exactly how you feel after getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Each dose of the COVID-19 vaccine may affect each patient differently. Um, it didn't really hurt. It was sore for a few days afterwards. Lily Raybon, a med tech, has been doing virtual health check-ins with the CDC through a program called VSAFE since last week. It says that it's a daily check-in. I signed up on the 24th, and so I got a notification on the 24th. I received my vaccine on the 23rd. This is the text she's talking about. You'll have to register for text by entering your name, number, and vaccination card information first. But once you do, you'll get a link that takes you to the VSAFE site, asking you a series of screening questions. And then they'll ask just maybe like three or four questions um, <laughs> with a little smiley face. How do you feel today? You know, a green smiley face, like a, a yellow, kind of like, ah, I'm okay. And then a red, like not feeling good. And so it's just a really easy way for uh, the CDC to really gauge how people are responding to the vaccine. Now, so it's not mandatory trials, to yeah, sign up, but this you, Austin but, pharmacist you know, says just, it's useful for the CDC to keep tabs on any unexpected or drastic side effects. If something's wrong and they see like, hey, you know, these symptoms kind of look a little concerning, they'll give you a call. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. The CDC website says you should get the text for health check-ins around 2 p.m. each day. And you'll also get a reminder when it's time for the second dose of the COVID vaccine.